Hey folks, this is a brief overview of the Windows Generator HDA and its functionality. I'm running the full version of the generator, and so I also have the interior blinds and exterior blind setting. But the Windows Generator itself is based on these two tabs, these two settings, the surrounding and the generator itself. The settings are pretty straightforward. I'm in Houdini here, but the settings should be everywhere the same depending on your host application Maya, Unity, Unreal or Smux on Cinema 4D So it's pretty straightforward you have a sliders for the width and for the height and that's, that should be pretty easy to create windows in a matter of minutes instead of uh, spending hours modeling So let's dive right into it So you have the window itself, it, uh, it's on and off You have the double wings which is um, pretty nice You can change the middle position You can go from vertical to horizontal depending on your likings um, Of course you have um, the slider for open and closing the windows You can choose if you want to swing or tilt the windows So tilt would be this movement right here and um, very nice function is the handling which switches automatically uh, depending on your open or closing as you can see here it just switches and uh, the same would apply for the swing window so that's pretty pretty neat of course you can customize your window um, in a lot of ways for example you have the wing profile size you have also the frame and you have the distance frame wing, which is actually the distance between the joints and the wall. So that would be here. So of course you can uh, unwrap the UVs um, for texturing your model later on, but I uh, leave it usually uh, on off till I'm ready. So it runs a little bit faster, but it's just switch it on and off. You have also some um, offset settings in the transform tool. So uh, if you want to further offset your model, just Type in some numbers and it goes in X, Y, and Z. The same applies for the rotation. We also have glazing bars, which are these little bars here. So you can adjust the size and how many you want to have in horizontal or in the vertical direction. So that was it for the first tab. Pretty easy. So next one would be, um, I switch that off, the surrounding tab. Um, you have uh, different options for the interior and exterior surroundings. So that would be the exterior and the handle side of course would be the inside. This is the zone for intern and the extern. You also have um, surrounding walls and of course you can adjust the depth of the wall size for the interior and also for the exterior side of it. You can switch this one over here from a metal plate to a stone kind of thing you have a little nice profile ramp I just leave it on metal for this matter and you can also change the um, surrounding from plaster to brick lintels so that in that case you get uh, some sliders for the, for the brick variation size, the height uh, yeah you have the variation so it gets a little bit older or used look or it's pretty pretty new and so I leave that on the plaster. Um, what else can you do? You can have a railing in three different versions. So you have two wireframes and a glass one. You can of course adjust the height and in the wireframe you can also the number of braces. So that's pretty straightforward. You also have a little nice feature that's the surrounding crown. You can have a triangle shape or you can have a round shape. You know, whatever you like. It's just a little neat feature um, about any other setting, but it of course um, adjust um, to your to your slider work. Uh, it's all procedural, so you come can come back later, switch it on, switch it off. Yeah, that was it for the um, window generator. I hope this was helpful, and as you could see, this is um, pretty straightforward work to generate uh, beautiful windows in just a matter of minutes or seconds.